So um, I'm Irun Mam. I'm I'm living in in Huilert. Yeah, actually I'm I'm living in Antwerp, but um, I, I was born in in in, in Brussels, um, and I I'm a medical doctor, so a general practitioner. Uh, I did then a postgraduate in tropical medicine, uh, which I just finished, um, and I had uh, my plan was to go to United States to uh, study public health, to do a master in public health um, in Chapel Hill, uh, Chapel Hill, uh, North Carolina. Um, for this uh, purpose, for my application at the university, um, I had to do several tests. Uh, the first test, the, the TOEFL, um, is, uh, yeah, like you know, it's, it's about, the, the, about the, the, your knowledge of English. Um, in fact, you cannot, what they are testing is, is quite uh, general things. So they are not n n never uh, um, going to ask you specific grammar um, knowledge or specific vocabulary. So um, it's quite general. Um, so now the question is, how can I prepare myself to this test? Um, and I think the best thing you can do, if you have just a few days left, um, is to borrow a book um, uh, somewhere about to full, uh, Fulbright is 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 leaning th these books, um, and is to this book will explain you how the test is going to be. So it's not really they are not really preparing you um, what you have to answer, but especially they are preparing you how you have to answer. So um, I think that's the, b the best advice I can give to somebody who wants to, to, to do the TOEFL. Uh, in fact, the GMAT is um, more for uh, uh, studies like MBA or uh, this kind of uh, directions. Um, the GRE is more global for um, graduate and or after graduate school. Um, it's it's uh, like I understood more a uh, global test uh, for for more than one or for several universities um, but for to study public health um, at Chapel Hill it was possible to do the, the GMAT so and because of the it was easier for me to do to inscribe myself um, in, in Brussels and to do the test there um, it was it was easier to, to plan it um, I did I choose to do the GMAT. Um, in general, these two tests are more or less the same. So about maths, the GMAT and the GRE is almost the same, I think. Um, the, the language part, the, um, the verbal part is a little bit different. Um, so the, the verbal part of the GMAT is um, is about questions like text, and you have to, to, to answer questions about this text. Um, but on the other hand, you have um, questions about grammar, so um, structures of uh, uh, sentences that you have to complete. And I think this part is quite important to learn, because you can, if you want to, 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 to hire your score, um, it's especially this part where you can work on, because um, reading some text it will take you, you a long time. You have to do it a few times just to to to, to be used to it, but you it will take a long time to prepare yourself on this. Um, these grammar parts are this yeah this these questions about grammar um, are always more or less the same, and you have to to know just a few things and you will do it quite well. You can, it, it depends of yourself, of your purpose, um, of your time. So you can take days, hours or months or even years to prepare you, yourself for these tests. Um, so it, this depends of yourself. But I had just a little time available, so I took a few days for each test. Um, but in general, that this is enough. But if you really want high scores, then I advise to, to, to plan this test very well and to, to, 
yeah, you can take weeks, but even months to, to, to prepare yourself. So the GMAT is a little bit, um, is, the, is the most expensive um, of the three. Um, then the GRE is a little bit less expensive. So if you plan to do um, graduate school, um, then it's better to, if you have the possibility to take a GRE. Um, so take your time, be well prepared um, and plan it as fast as possible. Um, so the GMAT is about, I think it was about 300 euro. Um, the GRE was about 200 or 250, I don't know. And the, the cheapest of the three was the TOEFL, but it's a different test, of course. Um, and that was about, yeah, it was uh, still 200 euro or 200 euro. I don't remember the exact um, uh, amount. So uh, the GMAT is, you can do it in Brussels. Um, it's, it was near to the, the VUB, um, the campus of the VUB. So uh, it's quite well, so th there is a lot, th there are a lot of possibilities for the GMAT. In general, it's not a, a popular test and there was still some, a lot of space available. I was the only pr uh, person doing the GMAT, so I had one person looking after me and <laughs> doing the test myself. Um, the GRE is a little bit further here um, at the Sailor, um, where you can do it. Um, so it's in Brussels too. And then the TOEFL, um, it's very important that you plan that, that you take your time to plan the TOEFL test because if you are if you don't have enough time I think they are only doing the tests one time a month in Brussels right so um, I had to do it in Holland so and then of course you lose some two or three hours before your test and a lot of concentration so be well prepared of course but after the test don't be um, how shall I say, um, I had a v very bad feeling after every test, very bad feeling, especially after the TOEFL test. It, it gives you a really bad feeling and um, I was even thinking I didn't pass the test. Yeah, you can't really, it's not pass or fail, but the university um, asks a um, kind of uh, 80 or 90 or 100, uh, 120. Um, so I had the feeling I never uh, get this score, um, but in fact they are living a go they are giving a quite good marks, so don't worry about it. Um, and it's, I mean, I did a, quite a lot of exams, and um, this kind of uh, multiple choice exams are always giving you a bad feeling afterwards. So don't worry about it. Maak u geen zorgen over deze exams. Het gaat u waarschijnlijk een slecht gevoel achteraf geven. Maar in principe valt het allemaal weer mee.